Alrighty. Hello and welcome back to Rune. Um, Rune. There we go. Ooh, nope, that's not it. <laughs> uh, my windows are all messed up. But anyway, here we are. Boom, Rune. Um, hey, we are on 9 out of 10. So this is Iron Vale. Um, yeah, it's been a it's been a, it's been a lot of runes. Um, <clears throat> this one is uh, let me get to the uh, thing myself here. Um, Iron Vale is uh, a well, I'll just read it. Smoke mixes with screams echoing off the surrounding mountain ranges of the Iron Vale. This is a war zone from a war started long ago. The rune of this realm is one soaked in blood and wielded by a warlord of incredible power. It is time to bring a new war to this valley. So basically, um, there's a bunch of fighty guys here, and we're going to fight them and take their stuff. Get their rune. Um, <clears throat> this is... Um, most of, the, most of the realms we play have a realm clock, so uh, they tick down when you move or do a thing, and certain things kick off here. Uh, that is not the case here. We have, instead of a realm clock, uh, let me show off our keeper here. <laughs> There's a keeper. Uh, instead of the realm clock, we have um, a uh, kill count up here on the upper right. So... Uh, I'm going to be taking off my kill count. Basically, anytime you uh, fight someone of uh, a drow, D R A U, um, you uh, up your kill count. Um, it's important to keep track of this number as it's related to your ability to access certain actions or points. Uh, there's no clock pushing me forward, so I'm just going to be murdering as many people as I can uh, and uh, moving on from there. Um, if I get killed, I resurrect at the sigil uh, and reset my kill count to zero. So I do not want to do that. Um, some of the locations have multiple fights. Um, I can get access to... Oh, let me get back there. Uh, some locations have multiple fights. I can get access to other points by going through those. And uh, I'll probably need to fight a bunch of guys. That's the whole, the whole, the whole deal of this one. So, um, let's go back to our keeper here. There we go. So, uh, I'm starting at number one, my sigil. Uh, sigil? Is that what it is? Yeah. Starting at the sigil. Uh, mountains stretch before me in all directions. The sound of battle is in the air. With each clash of steel, the sigil pulses with energy. You know what? Before we do this, um, I should probably talk about my, my engraved. I don't think I'm going to change anything. Because uh, it's been doing pretty good so far. So I've got... Um, let me get rid of our notes here from the last one. Uh, we just rocked. Um, I am using the Fate's Bow rune, which gives me plus two health. So that's rad. Um, I'm using Fate's Fury, which means I can use a weapon twice in a single round. Um, I got one, Last time I got the Hollow rune... Uh, once per combat, I can set aside an unspent stamina die and then use that roll in any other round during the fight. That's pretty cool. Um, I don't know when I would use it because you're only going to be saving low ones, right, if you're not using those. So I think I'm going to stick with my, my current ones. Um, that storm call is really nice uh, also. Draco is just too, too good, though. Um, you're going to reroll any ones for one health. That's pretty cool, too. Um, I think I'm just going to keep my, my standard loadout here. So, um, Fate's Fury lets me reuse weapons, plus two health. Draco lets me do three harm to all enemies or prevent harm for a round. That is sick. That is sick. Killed a dragon for it, so I'm taking it. Um, also taking my dragon sword and a basic shield. I got a spell stone. If I take damage, then I can uh, assign my dice to a spell type that I don't have equipped. And I do have some spells over here. Uh, I've got an erupting flame. Uh, that's cool. Uh, the siphon is really awesome. Um, firebolt uh, jumps between enemies. That's cool. Um, comet strike. These. 
any enemies in the same space. Oh yeah, I just got this one. Any enemies in the same space as you take harm equal to the number of spaces you moved this round. So that's pretty sick. Um, so yeah, I feel like I'm pretty set up here. So um, let's start off in Iron Veil here. So um, Iron Veil, uh, I'm starting at one. I don't need to keep track of um, my clock, right? So uh, I'm going to go straight from uh, one, two, two to the abandoned post here. The remnants of a camp quickly abandoned to mark this area. No doubt you're getting closer to the fighting. No doubt. Um, there's really nowhere else to go. So uh, I can search. Uh, when I search, I take that off. Uh, search gets me a rune charge. One use. I can reuse a rune that's been used up during my time in this realm. The power of the runes we belonged to them, capital T. They trusted their, capital T, most powerful agents with a drop of that power. So I'm going to go ahead and mark down that rune charge. Uh, that's that's going to be ridiculous here if I drop that on um, drop that on drag it once. Once, one use. I can do that once. Um, I will check off the next one. Uh, I will do learn, which gives me plus one lore. Oop, let me set my lore back to zero. It's one now. Um, yeah, the writing across various scraps of paper is indecipherable, but the maps show intended movements. Just viewing the script makes the runes carved into me. Hum. Uh, and the next action available here is delve. Uh, that requires a kill count of 10 plus, lore of 3 plus, and in addition, you lose one health. So, uh, you get cool stuff for that. Travel stuff. So, um, now I need to figure out where I'm going to go next. And, bloop. Um, do, do, do. Go back to the realm. So, uh, I can either, I like, three, four, or nine. Um, so, let's see. Why are you fighting these folks? They're all, you know what? I'm going to, I think I'm going to go east first. Because I don't know what's over there. But uh, time is not a problem, so I can uh, just go and hit, hit what we got there. So let's go to the prison ruins. Uh, the prison ruins here. Um, what remains, the remains of what was once a prison lay before you. Not entirely abandoned, though. It was teeming with drow soldiers looking for a fight. Cool. I am also looking for a fight. So... Um, I'm going to take off that first fight. Um, there's uh, some setup there, so let's go back to the Keeper, and I will set up combat there. I'll take off the fight loop there, uh, and go to combat. So, uh, just clear this out from our last fight. Great. So, um, the regiment left to tend these ruins or create them looks at me with eyes hungry for war. So we've got permanent terrain in A1 and A2. Uh, we've got uh, permanent terrain in C3 and D3. That's sweet. Um, we've got two slayers. Now here, this is where the dragon rune is just going to be ridiculous. Two slayers, C A3 and C4. A3, C4. And a tank at B4. Oh no, a yeah, tank at B2. And an officer at B4. And I start at D1 up here. Cool. So here's the thing with that. Um, one, two. I not, shouldn't have bothered doing that because these guys are going away real fast. Uh, tank and officer. Um, they start at three each. Magic number. Tank starts at five. And the officer starts at six. Great. Uh, I'm just going to go over to here and copy these guys for us so we can see what we have here. So we're going there. And get our officer. So, um, promote. Let's 
good that these darkness are doing better. So, um, thing is, Slayers have three health. Those are going to be gone immediately. Um, don't care about them at all. Tanks uh, can move around. It can protect other drow. Great. Uh, and the officer can promote, uh, which increases their action roll by one. Fantastic. So, um, I, I'm not worried at all here. Let's go ahead. Uh, where's my die roller? Oh, no. Um, do I have a die roller set up? I, I neglected to do this. Um, where is my die roller? Do I have it set up here? I don't. Oh, well. Um, OBS. You're not letting me loop. Loop with me. XYZ. Thanks, die roller. I don't care what it's called. Great. Great. Oh no, I'm, uh, I'm on VPN, hang on. Technical difficulties. Quit my VPN, cool. Uh, get on my dice roller. Not letting me get on. All right, let me try one more time. Oh, I should have done this beforehand. Roll with me, X, Y, Z, text dice roller, maybe it's something fun. Oh, dang it, I think there's a problem with the dice roller. Oh no. Huh. It's giving, giving us guff here. Rollers up, engraved. Thank you for your patience. Um, this is not what we wanted to do. A uh, roller. There's our dice roller. Google Chrome. Oh no. I don't want to restart OBS. You may just have to trust me. <laughs> this one. Um, Google Chrome, roll with me. That's all right. Oh yeah, there we are. Hello. Hello, dice roller. Um, let's put you, I mean, you were right here. What's a good place to put you? Over here, over here, down here. Let's put you down here. Great. Uh, let's see what rolls look like. Can you see that? Yeah, that's okay. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Fantastic. A little bit bigger for you. All right. Wonders of modern computers. Great. Um, so this was our roll for these guys. Was one, four, six, and six. Yikes. That is that is rough. Uh, rough. Um, can I make that full screen? Get back on that. Okay, cool. Uh, we're gonna get some jitters, I guess, moving around. Anyway, um, that was a uh, sorry. One, four, six, and six. One, four, six, and six. Um, that's gonna be rough. So, um, move enemies. Again, these uh, slayers aren't really gonna matter, but uh, one gets a move, one harm, one. Uh, so you're closer to me. Four is a uh, block one, harm one, so he doesn't do anything, just sits there. Um, this tank, it's got a six, block two, harm one, um, doesn't do anything. Oh, actually, that Slayer blocking is gonna mess up my plans. Um, that's fine, that's fine. Um, but they're not moving anywhere, and they're all same and adjacent, uh, or adjacent at least. The officer also has a six, harm to and promote uh, adjacent drought, increase the value of the roll by one. Uh, that just brings that up to a two, so that doesn't change anything. Um, cool, I mean, no one, so no one can get me unless I move. Um, 
So let's see what what I get for actions. Um, I get two dice. That is a five and a two. Mm -hmm. So a five and a two is going to. Oh, I should have taken the one where I could save the dice. That's so sad. Uh, it's just gonna give me a five. Uh, I can move one block, one harm, three. I, I don't think I can get close enough. So, um, at the risk of getting swarmed, I'm just going to move one. Nobody can hit anyone because no one has a range of two. Right? Uh, and adjacent is only orthogonally, not diagonally. Great. So, um, is the screen? Yeah, the screen's jiggling every time I switch. Um, that's fine. Uh, so yeah, no harm done. Let's do uh, the next round of rolling. I didn't use my dragon stuff because uh, people were blocking and I want to take them out. Six, six, four, four. What? Okay, great. Um, this is going to make this harder than it needs to be for me. Anyway, six, move to harm to. There we go. That's an action. Um, I'm just going to have this guy move straight up. Blam. Um, so if I sit there, he's going to harm to me. And it's same and adjacent, so that's no, no good for me. Same for the other one. Uh, one, two. Uh, can't get me just yet, but... Um, a four for our tank means block two, harm one. So he's not moving. And uh, officer is going to... Harm, or uh, sorry, it's a four, so they're going to promote, which means uh, adjacent draw increase the value of their action by one. Can't do a seven, unfortunately, so um, that's fine. That's fine. Doesn't seem to do a lot of damage, but no one is, I mean, the tank is blocking, right? The tank is blocking two. Um, but you know what? That's fine. Let's see what my roll is before we get to. I get a six and a six. Are you kidding me? Look at that. Straight up, six and six. So, um, move one, block one, harm three, move one, block two. So, move two, block three, harm three. Move two, block three, harm three. Um... So I can... Move to. Okay, so first off, I'm using my dragon skill, um, my boon, and that lets me deal three harm to everybody. Um, and that'll be at the harm dealing section here. So uh, <coughs> I don't want to be there. Um, but I think I do want to move here. Um, yeah, great. So, um, dealing harm, I'm getting two from the Slayer and one from the tank. I also have block three, block one, block two, so that's no damage for me. Um, I'm going to use my Dragon Rune, which does three damage to everyone, so take that guy out, take that guy out. Uh, tank is blocking two, so he only takes one. And officer's taking three because he's just going to promote. So that takes care of him and him. I'm also doing three harm. So that pours three more harm onto the tank, taking down to one. This is going to be a short fight. Yeah, I don't see them doing any good. But top of the round, they get a two and a five. Um, two and a five. <coughs> so uh, tank does a move one, block two. Um, can only attack adjacent, so we won't move closer to him. Uh, and the officer does a five, which is promote, which doesn't do anything. He's not even moving. That's so sad. So what's my move? A two and a two. Um, I'm going to have to add those together for a four. Move one block, one harm two, I guess. Move one block, one harm two. So yeah, um, I'm going to move here. Tank can only attack adjacent, um, and he's blocking two. I'm not going to be able to do any damage to him. Um, 
So, yeah. We sit here and uh, do nothing to each other. Their move. A five and a five. So a tank does block two, harm one. Um, not moving, so that's great for me. And promote doesn't do anything. I think the officer should really move more. Um, weird. Um, so neither of them can hit me right now. So what's my move? Two, nothing. I can literally do nothing. Um, what's the first bite? I'm going to use my weapon twice in a single round, uh, which means I'm going to roll uh, another die for this one here. Uh, so that's going to have two right now. Five. Okay, so that'll give me a six altogether. That'll take next to move one, block one, harm three. Um, neither of them do any harm. I'm not moving. So I'm just doing harm three to him. He is blocking one. And no, no, blocking two. That's cool. I only need to do one damage and he is off the board. Now I, I can, I'm going to take this guy out at my leisure, I think. Um, what does what does the officer do? A one. Move one, harm one. Great. Cool. And his range is adjacent. So this is not going to work out great for him, I don't think. A uh, three or me. Um, block one, harm two. So he's only doing a harm one. Blocked. Harm two. Um, done. Okay. His move. A three. Uh, which is promote. He does nothing, basically. I will do a point and a four, which is a five. Um, that's giving me some harm three. And that takes him all the way out. Kablammy. Uh, and that gets me four on my kill count. That's a good start. <coughs> and take all this stuff off here. Uh, the officer needs to be more uh, mobile to be any good, I think. But anywho, um, fight check. So um, that fight lets me do the next thing, which is search. Let me check off my search. Uh, searching here gains me a healing salve, two uses. During exploration, it used to heal three harm. This applies to temperatures and this is never remote. You're great. Uh, healing salve, two uses. I'll just put the uh, checkbox because good thing is in there. Yeah, sweet. I might not need it, but we'll see. Um, cool. What's next up? Another prison. No, prison rooms. Yeah, they look the same. Um, yeah. Prison rooms. Uh, learn. Lore plus one. Easy done. Um, the prisoners here remain in their cells, each a non-responsive husk staring back at you through the bars. They recoil at efforts of rescue. Great. Uh, and then delve here requires a kill count of five plus. So that is not going to work out for me. But I will come back. Once I go to number five, the Eastern Front, uh, that is going to be another fight. <coughs> and let's, let's see what that looks like here. Boop. So the Eastern Front, the Drow Army is in constant motion prepared for battle. This is clearly an important camp for them. Great. The patrols are relentless in this area, trying to keep out prying eyes. Let's set up our combat then. Here you go. Um, great, difficult terrain, A1, B1. Uh, B2 and C4, D4. Great. Um, four slayers, they're gonna have a bad day, unfortunately. Um, Bs2 and 3. C4, D4, great, fine, um, and then one Spellsmith, a D2, 
And I start at A4. <coughs> cool. So, um, this one, let's see, it's at three, it's four, and spell spin. These guys start at three, 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 three. Uh, spell smith. Looks like I'll bring the archer over to also paste them down here. Uh, Spellsmith has four health. These guys are going to have a really bad day. Sorry, man. Um, got four. Y'all, you don't even know what you're in for. Um, move one harm with everyone in column and row. It's not sad. Sad guys. So I'm rolling five dice for them. Let's get on it. Um, do we have that on there? Yeah, there we go. Five dice. Do, do, do. Four, five, three, five, six. Six. Cool, 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 cool. Um, so let's see. For Slayers, that is... Um, Slayers, uh, oh, they're going to do some blocking. Good for them. Good for them. Um, great. Make it a fight. I love it. So, um, block one, harm one, block one, harm one, move one, harm one, and block one, harm one. All right. Um, and the Spellsmith is going to move one, harm one to everyone in the same column. Uh, I'm not worried about him, so he's just going to move closer to me there. Um, let's do these one at a time. So, the only one that's moving... Oh, no one's moving! Four, five. Four, five, three, five. Those are all the same. Block one, harm one. But, um... Am I... Yeah. Three, four, five. They're all doing block one, harm one. Should I just chill and wait? Um, oh, also, um, since they're in difficult terrain, difficult terrain means that you do one less, so they're doing no harm right now. They're just blocking one. It feels like it makes sense to just sit tight. So I'm just going to do that. I'm not even going to... Well... Yeah, I'm not even... Well, Let's roll, because I have to roll. Oops. Um, great, a five and a two. I don't think that's going to do anything. Uh, move one, block one, harm three. I mean, I could, I could just take one out. Move one. Block one, harm three. That just takes them right out. Boom. Sorry, Ben. Um, and Spellsmith goes out there. Cool. Uh, sweet. Now there's only four of them. Let's roll for them. See what happens. Five, four, five, two. Man, they're still blocking. Okay, so five, four, five, two. Um, so the smell Smellsmith. <laughs> Move one harm one. Everyone in the same row. So makes sense for him to come down here. Uh, Bloom. One that's not anything though, um, and slayers are all gonna do uh, block one harm one again. Not moving, they should move more. Um, and actually, none of them are doing damage because they're all in difficult terrain. So let's see what I get to do. A three. That is. Bad for me. Um, block one, harm two. Oh, actually, that's fine. Um, I don't have to move. He does one harm to everyone in the same row. That's me. I block it. I don't move. I don't do anything. Back to them. There we go. One, five, two, one. Great. Um, this guy is going to do uh, move one, harm one. Fantastic. 
Um, this guy is going to sit tight and block one, harm one. And this guy is going to move one, harm one. Fantastic. Getting out of here. Can't reach me, but that's great. And the spellsmith is going to uh, move one, harm one to everyone in the same row. Um, he is at two spaces. He doesn't want to move any closer to me. So sweet. Um, interesting that he has range. I guess the range is for movement, but because um, he will move away from me. So um, the only one I am well, I'm going to take two harm if I sit tight, but I'm not going to sit tight if I can help it at all. Cool, four and a five. So, here's the deal. Um, a four and a five gets me... Mm, can I move? Move one, block one, harm three, and then block one, so block two. Um, move one. Um... Yeah, it makes sense for me to go here. Um, I'll do my three harm here. I'm only taking the one harm from him, which gets blocked. Um, so he goes down to one. And then I'm going to fire off my dragon rune. So since number three is the one that's blocking, that takes three points, three points, three points. They're all gone. Uh, and he takes three. He's down to one. I had some cool special effect. Uh, but now it's just me and him, and he's not going to have a great time with that. Uh, a two, so he's going to move one harm one. And he's going to move out from here so he can actually do some damage. Um, great. What, what's my move? Uh, three and three, which means I can do a six. So that's going to be uh, move one, block one, harm three. I block his one harm his butt, and he is gone. Um, that's five more kills, man. So that's cool. Uh, I'm not mad about that. So that's nine kills. Great. Uh, that seemed too, he seemed too easy. I don't know. Um, but there's a lot of them, so I'm still I'm not taking any damage, so it doesn't matter how many there are. Anyway, mm, that was the Eastern Front fight. Did it. Um, what else is on the Eastern Front here? Let's find out. Um, on the Eastern Front, uh, learn, increase lore by one. The Dubnid god died long ago by their capital P, and those of the Old Kingdom have not yet forgotten. Cool. Um, great. Lore plus one, then, for me. I'll mark that off. I'm now at lore three. Um, delving requires the fight of the or avoided lore plus three. Great, I can do that. One of the Rune Lords commanding officers holds this camp. You have a chance to strike them down. Fight them. I think I will. I think I will. Um, it says there's another learn on there. I guess not. It's only a three. I guess I'm not a learn. Um, cool. Um, I'm going to set up that fight for us. Yeah, fight some, fight some dudes. All right, dude. Um, let's get rid of these guys. Who am I fighting? I'm fighting this dude. Astar. Astar. Uh, Astar has eight health. Let's set this fight up. Um, permanent terrain. Oh, let's get rid of these, sorry. Boom, boom, boom. Um, we are getting permanent terrain on B1, B2. Oops. And D3, D4. Great. Let's see how it passes. Uh, Astar is on C1. Engraved is on B4. Fantastic. Cool. 
Had Drauzal commanded his chosen to select from the very best to lead their armies, Arcane Arts would be the only foil to the Dubnid faith. Cool. So, Athar here, um, range of two and three spaces. Okay, cool. Um, shift, decrease the value of each stamina I roll with number one to now one. Oh, that's me. Oh, no. I don't like that. Athar is going to hit without line of sight. Yikes. Um, cool. So, wizard. There once was a wizard who blessed the trees. Only those of pure intent could ever find his home. One day they burned it. Great. Uh, I feel like this might be a fight, actually. Great. Looking forward to it. So, um, uh, let's roll for Athar and see what he gets. A two. Uh, on a two, it's just going to straight up harm three at a range of two and three. So, one, two, three. Um, this is going to be interesting. I think the. So, my strategy is just going to be corner him get close and uh, start whomping but uh, yeah this might be this might be a little fight great let's see what I have to do um, are we on the right yeah we are um, two dice for me that's gonna get me a five and a four that's fantastic uh, a five and a four is going to let me well, I can move one I can't harm it all yet so um, I think I'm gonna take the move one, block one, and move one, block two. That will soak up three, and let me move two. Let's see. I can move two. Gonna get up closer here. He can hit me there. He's gonna do a harm three, but I am doing a block one and a block two. So that is soaking up that damage. Fantastic. Um, he doesn't do anything. I don't do anything. Um, let's see what is next for old Anthar here. Oh, one. Same thing. Harm three at ranges two and three. Not moving. Uh, which means if I can close, that's going to be a good time. A five and a three. Uh, so I need to move one. And one. so um, great. I'm going to move one, block one, harm three. Um, Move one, block one, harm three. Um, he can't hit me because I'm in his, within his range, or yeah, inside his range. Um, so yeah, I'm fine. He should run. He should run. A one, same thing, harm three. So he harm three is a two and three. I can just sit here and pump him. Um... You're probably about a buddy. Oh, two, one and one. Nobody does anything. What does he do next? A uh, three. So three is move one, block one, harm two. Um, he's going to have to move over here to get me at all. One, two. Um, so his only shot is if I can't move. And a two and a six, that is no good. What happened to my thing? Oh no. Is everybody good? Are they still up there? There you go. Okay. Two and a six. Um, a two and a six. That six is going to get me a move one, block one, harm three. So I'm going to move one. Uh, I'm going to block nothing because he doesn't do anything. And I'm going to harm three him again. Takes him down to two. Fire off the dragon rune. Bam. That's a zero for him. Um, I would have rope doped him anyway. He's not going anywhere. It would take him... He can only move one every once in a while. So it would take him at least like four rounds for him to even be able to damage me at all. So sorry, Athar. Um, it's a bad time for you. What does Athar get me? Um, Athar. Killing Athar gives me two rewards. Once I give Athar's banner. Great. Um, man, that's a huge thing. Oh, I get the bronze fist of Dubnid. Um, great. Let me put that on my sheet. Athar's banner. And the unique 
the ball. What is that? Uh, doesn't say. Oh, I guess it's a thing that opens something else somewhere else. The Bronze Fist of Dubinid. All right. That seems like it'll be handy to have later on. So, um, back to our computer here. I added those things to my engraved. Uh, and back to our realm here. That was that. So, I'm going to go back to four. And I think I can delve there. Back to four. Uh, delve requires kill count of plus five, check, and a lore plus two, check. In addition, I'm going to lose one health. That's fine. Um, take my health down to 11. <coughs> cool. Um, what do I get from that? Let me mark off that delve. Um, that gives me uh, the patrol patterns of the drow camp at the eastern front are written in the dread script. Your runes burn your body the longer you look at it, but the intel's value is worth the pain. Um, I can skip the top fight at point five. <laughs> <laughs> well, um... Cool. Cool. Um, well, I already did that, so. Uh, no harm. I mean, a little harm. So, uh, that's the Eastern Front for me. So, I'm going to pop back to two. Um, and then, I guess, this castle thing looks important, so I'm going to go down this way first. Go down to three to the homestead. Um, what is on the homestead? Uh, on the homestead. The architecture of this set of buildings is unlike anything you've seen across your travels of Oberon. They feel out of place, out of time. Uh, first thing to do is a fight. Great, let's do a fight. Back to the keeper. Um, cool, let me set up our combat. So we got permanent terrain at A3. Permanent terrain at B1, C1, and D4. All right. Um, we've got enemies, three slayers, at B2, C2, D1, B2, C2, D1. And Buds, I don't think this is going to go the way you want it to go. Um, let me get my guy back here. Blue. Uh, and I start where? At A4. Great. Um, I'm not anticipating any trouble. <laughs> Four, four, six, four for them. Mm, well, we'll see. Four, six, four. Oh, they're getting out of health. Three, four, five. Cool. <coughs> um, these guys are all block one, block one. Uh, move two, harm two for S3. Great. Um, you're going to get close to me. One, two, three, I guess. Um, you're not doing any harm unless I move anywhere. Um, the tank is doing four, which is block two, harm one. Just sitting there and doing nothing. The tank may apply its block to an adjacent draw if tank is not taking any harm this round. I guess that's just what we'll do. Um, well, cool. Uh, it's not adjacent to anyone, unfortunately. So, uh, they're all doing the blocky, blocky, block. Let's see what I get. Dice for me. Two and two. Um, that's just going to be the four. Move one, block one, harm two. I'm just going to move one because no one can get me right now. Just hope I don't get swarmed. Cool. Next up is them. Five, two, three, two. Five, two, three, two. Cool. Um, these two are doing block one, harm one, just assume. Move one, harm one. So let's get that guy out here. Move one, harm one. 
Um, and two is going to move one block too. Great. Um, you can actually put his block there. So uh, if he's not taking damage, which I got bad news. Yeah, so let me roll for my action. A double six again. Wow. Wow. So that lets me move two, block three, harm three. Okay. Um, move two. Yeah, so let's do this. I'm just going to get right into it. Right there. So I'm blocking three. All right. Cool. Um, and I'm going to fire off my dragon rune. So um, S2 is not blocking. Gone. Um, these two are blocking. So they go down to one for harm two. And Tanky is taking damage, uh, blocking two, so only taking one, down to a four. Um, not doing any damage, so the only incoming harm I have is from S1 and S3. That's two harm. I'm um, blocking three. That's it. Um, oh, and then I'm doing harm three, too, right? Um, so I'm going to pour more harm on the tank guess yeah so tank moved on to one too great a bunch of weakies um what do they do next one three six one three six cool so um first one's moving one harm one not moving just harming um block one harm one also just harming uh six is block Two harm one, great. So I got three harm coming at me. Not a problem. Probably. Let's see. Cocky. Double fives. Um, so that's getting me the same thing again. I'm blocking blocking three, harming three. I'm not moving. Um and I'm three harm coming in to me. So harm three. I don't think I can spread it out. It has to be You know what? That's a really good question. I don't think I can spread it among guys. Oh, that's a great question. Um, I'm going to look this up in the rune book for a little bit. Uh, combat, page 23. And do, 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 do. Combat. Uh, the grid. Ba, 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 and the action. Enemies engraved actions. Um, cannot use a weapon twice in a single round. Uh, can sum up your stamina dice. Great. Um, turn the actions. Is that done? Move engraved. Deal harm. Everyone, let's move. It's time to deal harm. Uh, check to see how much and if I'm in range. Great. Deal that harm. When engraved, deals harm. Choose a single target for each source of harm they're using. Right. Cool. So um, for me, that means that um, I'm doing, sorry, uh, I'm doing three harm. So I'm just going to take out the tank, I guess. Uh, the tank is just doing a uh, block two harm one. I only need to do one. So that is what I do. Um, and then I take two harm, block three. No problem. Take three harm, block three. Done. And done. Cool. Um, your move, buddies. Five and a three. The uh, same thing, block one, harm one. They're just going to sit there and pound on me. Uh, I'm going to do the same thing to them. One and a five. That takes me to six. Move one, block one, harm three. Move one, block one, harm three. I'm going to move one. Uh, block this one and harm three. That takes that guy out. Easy. Breathe. We need to do this, guys. You should just run. You should really just run. Uh, two, move one, harm one. Running it towards me. Nope. Um, 
what are you, just back a, a, a five. Move one block, one harm three, that takes him all the way out. And boom. Four more on my kill count. Thirteen kill count. Bit of bang. Clean that up. Good time, everybody. Um, so that was the Iron Veil. Um, where else was I? I was at three homestead fight. Um, we'll do the search. If I can find, there it is. Um, the search gain a time stone one use during combat at the start of the round. You may use a time stone and skip all enemy actions for the round. Huh. Um, that seems like it might come in handy. They give me a lot of they give me a lot of stuff, which makes me feel there's going to be a big fight coming up. Uh, but that's just video game logic, I guess. Um, during combat, at the beginning of the round, you can use a time stone. It's time t at the start of a round, you can use the time stone and skip all enemy actions for that round when you need to catch your breath. Dash H. Great. Um, next up is another fight. Cool search. Um, a fight piles of drow soldiers around one of the buildings. Dead drow soldiers. Inside you can hear the whirring of something dangerous. Yes! An automaton uh, leaps into action to defend its home. Great, great, great. Um, this is Aegis. Uh, Aegis is a unique automaton. Um, not a drow, so it doesn't count towards my kill count. Hmm. Um... So yeah, let's set this combat up. Uh, permanent train B2 and 3, C2 and 3, right in the middle. Aegis starts at A1. Actually, I start at D4. Great. Cool. I'm going to get Aegis's block over here in combat. Let me show you all what we got. Everything set up B. Um, great, great. So Aegis, um, a whirling set of metal plates and sharp blades that seems disappointed whenever it strikes you. Um, and weave. It has, uh, if Aegis takes no harm this round, it heals too. Seems unlikely. Um, its range is same and adjacent as me. Uh, it seems like it can move pretty fast, though. So let's uh let's do this let's do this um cool time to start running a five uh a five gets move one block one harm two they're gonna start moving at me uh what do i get i get five and a four uh five and a four um uh, move one i can move two block three. I don't think I'm going to get anywhere close, but let's get this party started. Um, next up for Aegis is a six. Block two, harm four, weave. Um, cool, I am not going near it. <laughs> um, and it will heal if I don't get damage. That's a that's a neat thing because it's going to be doing a lot of harm nearby while it heals up. Clever, clever, clever. Um, what is my move here? Five and a four. Um, so it's doing four harm. If I wanted to, and I might, I can go one two. A five and a four will block three of that harm. I'll take one. But also, it's blocking two. So I'd only be doing harm two. It's not worth it. So I'm going to move one closer. So I can jump in next turn if I need to. Um, it can sit there and heal itself up as much as it wants. That's fine by me. What's it going to do next? A three. 
move one, block two, harm two. Great. Here we are. Here we are. Three and a five. Cool. So it's same and adjacent, just like me. I'm going to stay where I am. Uh, three and a five is going to get me uh, block two, harm three. Um, it is harming two. Uh, I'm blocking two. It's blocking two. I'm harming three, so I take it down to one. Or take it down one to seven. Um, yeah. Great. I think this is going to be a lumberjack match, but we'll get it. A four, move one, block two, harm two. Same thing. Um, a five and a three. Again, exactly the same. Um, I'm going to... I'm oh, sorry. Five and a three. I'm going to take block two, harm three. Uh, so I'm blocking its two. It's harming two. I'm going to take it down by one. Stick a sec. What's next for it? A one. Move three. It's not going to move. Um, or actually, it is going to move because it wants to move close as possible to me. Same and adjacent. Um, block one, harm two. Great. What do I do? Five and a four. Jeez. Um, a five and a four will get me harm three, block two. I'm not going to move. Um, it's doing harm two. I block it. Uh, I'm doing harm three. It's blocking one. I do two points of damage. That's four. We're getting dangerously close to the end here, Aegis. Uh, what are you going to do next? You should probably try to heal yourself, right? A four. Unfortunate. Uh, move one, not moving. Block two, harm two. What am I doing? Oh, you lucky little dog. Um, doing block two, harm two. I'm doing... Move one, block... I'm going to move. Move one, block one. Oh, no, it doesn't make sense to move, does it? Does it? You know what? I'm going to do it anyway. Um... So I'm moving one, blocking one, harming two. Um, yeah, so it is blocking all my harm and doing a harm to me. Ooh, it's doing a harm to me. Ouch, owie, owie. You hit me with your blades and stuff. Um, <coughs> you know what? I'm just going to throw that one away in between with my salve. What do we do next, robot? A two. Uh, move three. Get up on me. Uh, block one, harm two. What do I do? A six. Um, cool. So I am move one, block one, harm three. So I'm going to take another point of damage. Uh, I'm doing a harm three, which is uh, only one of that's getting blocked. Takes you down to two. Use my dragon stuff. Take you down to zero. Boom. Aegis out. Um, and since we are between combats now, officially, I'm going to use one of my healing salves and take me back up to 12. Not 12, but just 12. Check. Sorry, ages. Tricks are for kids. Um, great. 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 Um... Nope, there we go. Rune cam. <coughs> uh, back at the homestead, uh, I'm going to learn. Oh, and he wasn't a... It wasn't a drow, so I'm just going to do my learn, increase my lore by one. Uh, I'll just mark that down. Lore is now four. Zippity doo -da. Cool. Um, so back to our realm here. Did not learn. Uh, so that was three. Let's just jump ahead to the river pass. Looks like we got a couple fights. I'm all for it. Um, the river pass gets us... Uh, this shipping lane is buzzing with drow activity as soldiers and workers prepare for an invading force. First one, fight. If I do not complete this fight, I cannot move to eight. All right. Um, I plan on doing that. <coughs> um, this is going to be a sad fight for them, though. 
uh, river pass. Let's go in. So look at our river pass here. Um, our river pass is going to have permanent on B1, C1. B1, C1. Oh, let's get rid of that. Uh, B1, C1, B2, C2. Oh, what the hell happened here? B2, C2. Um, B4, C4. B4, B4, C4. Um, two enemies, archers, B3 and C3. B3 and C3. Archer 1 and Archer 2. Archer 1 and B2. B2, Archer. Um, and two, where do we go? Um, and two slayers at A3 and D3. Archers also have three health. Oh, this is... I, I don't have a good feeling about this for y'all, man. Sorry, I just... Um, yeah, man, this is going to be a rough time for y'all. They all have three. <coughs> oh, no, that's a tank. Where'd the archer go? There's the archer. Um... Great. That's, um, yeah, I started B1. Oh no, how am I going to get past these guys? Let's find out. <coughs> four, six, four, five. Dang, you know, y'all, y'all got four, six, four, five. Um, cool. So our slayers, um, are on it. Cool. Um, let's do our archers first, since they're up there. Um, archers are going to harm two and harm three and pin. If the archer deals harm, I get minus one move next round. Yikes. Uh, and their ranges are two and three spaces. So um, one, two, three. That The pinning one can hit me. Yikes. <clears throat> uh, so I'm going to need to move two to get out of that or block stuff. Um, and that archer is going to harm three. Yikes, that is. Hmm. Um, cool. And the slayers are both uh, blocking one, harming one. Okay, um, great. No problem. This is going to be super, super good. A one and a two. <laughs> oh, that's, um, that's bad for me. Um, here's the thing. Uh, the archers are not blocking they're just harming. I'm going to fire off my dragon shit. Uh, three harm to everyone there. And sorry, man. I mean, you were in a good spot. Um, and they both go down to one. Uh, I'm still going to take my three harm. And I'm going to get minus one movement. Uh, which is rough. Those archers are rough, man. Uh, and that's eight, six, and ten, eleven, nine. Good thing I got all that healing set elves. Um, great. And since the other two aren't moving, uh, that's just fine by me. Let's see what they do. A five and a four. Same thing. Five and a four. Um, cool, 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 cool. What do I do? Uh, one and a six, which is a six, uh, to be perfectly honest. Um, move one, block one, harm three. Move one. I'm going to block one and harm three. Goodbye, uh, this guy. 
cool. One guy left. I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk up to him and punch him at some point, but we'll see how long it takes. A uh, one. Uh, one's gonna move one hard one. What do I do? Oops. A one and a three. That gives me a four. Um, I can move one, block one. Harm two, but not in range. All right, what's up next for him? A three, so he's gonna block one, harm one. What's up for me? One and a three. Uh, again, I'm gonna um, move one, block one, harm two. I'm gonna move one, block his one, harm two. He blocks one of those, and the other one takes him out. Kablam. And that's four more kills for the engraved. And that's a good world. 17 kills. What do you get? Um, great. So that was that fight. What's up next on the river pass? Um, gain a stamina tonic. <coughs> one use. During combat, you plus one stamina for the entire fight. Are you kidding me? That's ridiculous. Um, but I'll take it. I feel like they're giving me so much like a healing set up, so I'm gonna use that up. As I'm battered, but I'm still good. I'm good. Damn, dude. So all sorts of good stuff. Um, cool, so I searched a fight. Do I have, do I have lower five yet? Let me see. I'm at lower four. Um Is it worth fighting? I don't, I don't think it's worth fighting right now. I don't think it's worth fighting right now. So uh, I'm gonna, I took my lore, or I took my stamina, stila, took my stamina taunt thing. I got the thing, I got the thing. Um, did my search. I'm just gonna go on to point eight, I guess. Um, and while I'm while I'm out here, I'm gonna use my last healing salve. Bring myself back up to twelve. Don't be too careful. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of guys. Uh, they're wearing me down. So good, uh, good job, them. Good job, them. Um, great, great. Uh, so I'm going from number eight or number sorry number. Seven to number eight here. I don't think put me down. I don't know. Um, this is the southern front. Hmm. Prisoners of war are being displayed and executed in a grim fashion at this camp. From a large platform, a commander of the Drow army calls for the next round of killings. Um, so this fight is special because the Drow are distracted with the executions. They're unaware of my presence. I may begin this fight at any point and do not need to complete it to access other options at this point. Uh, but if I do, I get a piece of gear, which looks sweet. Soul staff. S-O-L. Um, interesting gear. Interesting. I don't know if that's worth it. I like the spells. Um, do I care about the spells? I don't know. Do I? I don't know if I care about that at all. <laughs> um, interesting. Oh, you can't see this. Um, Rungen. So here at the um, southern front, Pib Pib seems like a kind of a bad badass. Um, I'm not super interested in fighting right now, <laughs> um, and I don't know if I'm gonna use that soul staff later on because I like my little spell thing. Uh, but it's cool, 
And it does give me free healing, which is always good. Uh, the question is, is that last guy going to be a bad, bad time for me? Probably. Probably. Um... Um, do I want that staff? Yeah, staff is pretty sweet. Um, we have enemies in the same row. Heal one or deal one harm. I think I need to go for it. You know what? We're here. We're here to fight. Let's do it. Um, the southern front. Yikes. Oh, see, that's badass, too. Okay, cool. Let's let's get ready to fight here. Um, great Southern Front. Wait, I'm sorry. Uh, eight Southern Front. Um, cool. Let me set up the terrain. B three to C three. C3, um, and difficult A3 and D3. Interesting. Oh, let me get back to the keeper. Boop. Um, great. Where am I? Um, allergies. Um, Pib is at B1. Pib. Uh, Pib has. And um, two slayers at A1 and C1. Great. Uh, let's get those over here. Uh, where's Pib? Hey, Pib. Come on down. Pib is also same and adjacent, so we're gonna get friendly, and our um, slayers. I'll just grab um, some over here. Great. Um, cool, 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 cool. And I, where do I start? I start on C four. Hmm. Interesting. Cool. Um, Pib has got some special stuff. If Pip moved into the same space as the engraved this round, increase harm plus one. There once was a farmer who would be king. His rule was kind. One day they stole his crown. <coughs> yeah, Pib is. Um, wow. Pib's rough. <laughs> uh, yikes. I might have to take care of these uh, slayers by hand. Anyway, let's see what they all do. Are we on the right screen? We are. Let's do the flip, 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 flip. So many flippy flips. Let's get ready. Boom, go. 616, motherfucker. 616. Um, cool. So our pib does uh, six move to block to harm four. Um, move to block to harm four. I'm not, I'm not, oh, that was, uh, sorry, this is S2. There we go. Uh, Pib, you want me here. Um, one, two, or one, two. One, two, three, four, one, three, four, five. Pib wants to go this way, I guess. Three, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Either way, I guess. Pib's going to the left. Um, sorry, our um, slayers move one, harm one. Yeah, Pib and the slayers are teaming up. Um, harmy, harmy over there. And uh, other one does six, uh, which is a move to harm two. Uh, maybe they're gonna, yeah, maybe I have to come over here because it's closer. That's a move to harm two. Um, if I attack from this difficult, ground it is minus one 
Um, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Um, sorry. Uh, Slayer is moving one to harming one and moving two harming two. I can take both of those out with my dragon breath. Piv is blocking two. I think I need to do it. Cool dragon breath. Boom. Uh, Piv goes down to nine. Okay, Piv, this is gonna be a this is gonna be a stand up fight. Um, what cool things do I have? I've got the time stone and a stamina tonic. I can do an extra die of stamina here. I, f I feel like I'm gonna get the shit knocked out of me here, but go soul staff. Um, so if Pib moved into the same space as the engraved. So that includes him moving into me and me moving away. And he does a minimum harm too. And I have to be up up on him to do damage. And I can roll a weapon twice. I can do spells if I take harm. I've got that siphon spell, so I think that might be what I'm doing. Okay, Pib. Um, let's see what you got, Pib. I'm gonna move this over here. The roller, great. Um, Pib gets a die, and Pib gets a one. Um, Pib's one. Let's get rid of these layers. Um, take these off the board. Pib gets a one. Uh, move one, harm two. Great. He has to move closer to me, so that's great. Um, so he's only doing harm one this turn. I would like to move up close and give him a good smack a four. It's a three and a one. Um, hello. So I can move one, block one. Harm two. I could also roll another die if I want to burn my um, burn my face fury. I think I do. Oh, I forgot I have a two-handed. <gasps> I forgot I have a two-handed. Well, I need to declare that before I roll. Uh, I've not been doing that. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna use my face fury, so I'm gonna roll another die for my guy here. Um, where are we at? Where are we at? Uh, so I've got a three, one, and a one. Son of a bitch. So that takes me to a five. Um, That's awful. Move one, block one, harm three. I can't get to him at all. That's terrible. Okay, well, uh, burn my dragon stuff and burn my thing there. Um, is that really a four? A three, a one, and a one. I mean... Yeah, that's the worst. That's the worst. Um, you know, I think I've been reading this wrong. <laughs> I think I've been reading this wrong. Um, that's fine. I've been totally reading this wrong, I think. Anyway, it doesn't matter on this fight because. Um, Great, all my runes are used up. <laughs> oh boy, um, Cleave is going to be no, doing me no good, so I'm just going to be rocking the sword and shield against uh, this monstrosity here. All right, uh, what is Pib up to this time? A two. Uh, Pib is going to do move one, harm two. Uh, so it's a harm two for me. Uh, can I block it and do some harm back? and a five. Let's take a look. A uh, three and a five will get me a block two, harm three. Great. Um, he did not move into my spot. Block two. I'm going to block his two. I'm going to harm three. Take me down to six. Great. Down to two. You know what? I need a block two. Um, okay. Okay. 
let's let's get him. There's a three for Pib. Um, that will be block one, harm three. Which means I'm going to be moving away from him, most likely. <coughs> a one and a two, or I will be doing nothing. Can I move with a three? I can block one. That's it. Block one, harm two. Oh, fuck me. Oh, I can block one of those two harms. Block one, harm two. So I give him one, and he gives me two. Yikes. I don't, I don't like this guy. This guy sucks. <laughs> um, great, but he didn't move into my spot, which is a boner. Um, I feel like this is going to be a bad time. A one, great. He's going to move one harm tree, which is going to be a move one harm three. Yikes, Pib. Okay, what can I do here? A three and a four. Um, a three and a four will get me. So he's going to harm three. Um, so it's going to be a block one, block two. So he's going to do one. I'm going to do a harm two. I think not moving is going to be the best bet because if he moves into me, it's okay. I'm going to block two, harm two. Um, block two, harm two. He is doing a harm three, so I'm taking another harm, but he's not blocking, so I'm taking drawing a three, and I'm down to nine again. Yikes. I'm getting this whole staff. I'm getting this whole staff. Um, great. No six, no six, no six, no six. A three again. Cool. So he is going to block one harm three again. <sighs> okay, and I'm going to block one, harm three. So I take him out. I take two more damage. I'm down to seven health. Oh, I've got that rune charge. Oh, well. Um, but more importantly, um, I do believe I get, after completing the staff, you get the soul staff. It's a gear, bada boom. Um, great, great. I'm getting a soul staff. S O L staff. What does that look like? Uh, let me just copy and paste this so I can put in my items over here. Uh, this is a piece of gear. Anyway, um, soul staff gear. No. Ooh. So the next act is choose one. Cool, that's pretty sweet. Um, the question is, can I swap out gear? <laughs> can I swap out gear between combats? Mm, great, great question. Uh, I, I can also flee bites if I want to. Important, important point. Um, do, 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 equipment, no limit. I only have two equipment at a time. Activating weapons. Do, 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 do. First battle weapons, gear. Mm -hmm. um, do, 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 do. Piece of gear, no gear, consumables. Let's see. Um, this is during the. Exploration. Um, do do do. No points. Da da da. Reactions. Great. When can I 
swap out gear. Rules. Um, do 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 do. Maps and points and packs. Point crawl. What do I need to do? Align by point. I'm gonna. <laughs> you're not just like watching me uh, mutter here. Um, oh, I'm not gonna share any idea. Anyway, uh, why is that like that? It's weird. Oh, no, no OBS mastery today. Sorry. Mm -hmm. We need to do an action mark that's completed. Uh, play action. Search Lindell. I switch out gear. Um, do, 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 gear, gear, gear. Where did I put it? Carry. Uh, boom, 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 boom. Okay. Gear. Items you have, anyway. Um, there are limitations on how much you can equip and use during fights. As seen in your character sheet, you can have up to two weapons, one piece of gear, and up to three runes. The items you have equipped at the start of the fight is all that you have available to you. You can't swap any of your equipment during combat. Outside of combat, you can freely swap out your equipped weapons and gear. You cannot change runes. Okay, cool. But I can change gear. So, um, right now, I have um, that spell stone. Which, so that spell stone is going to let me pop off, um, yeah, so the spell stone is going to let me pop off a drain spell, which lets me get stuff back. Um, the, uh, where is it? My soul staff is going to let me heal one or deal one harm. I feel like that's going to be more flexible. So I think I'm going to swap out. I think I'm going to swap out my spell stone for my soul staff. And we'll see how it goes. Um, I've got a rune charge. Um, I've got a time stone. And I've got stamina tonic. Great. I've got seven health. I can't recover any without using my staff. <clears throat> so, cool. Um, and you're still looking at that. Great. <clears throat> um, Southern Front. Um, cool. I'm going to learn, increase my lore plus one. Let's get, get you back to where you can see what I'm doing. Uh, Boom. Great. So, uh, learned there. Um, if I search, I get a tier of Drozhal, one use during combat. Every enemy within two spaces loses health. You gain that much health. Fantastic. I love it. Uh, I will take that. I feel like they're giving me so much stuff. This fight is going to be so rough. Um, cool. Search done. Um, does that dude count as a, uh, do, do, do the boogle? Uh, yeah, yeah, he did. So that's three more. That's 20 kills. Thank you very much. Blah, blah, blah. Um, all right. I haven't opened up that point six yet, have I? I don't even know what's there. Um, yeah, I have no idea how to get over there. Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to pop back to two, uh, to that abandoned post. Um, I, I can move freely, I guess. Uh, and I'm going to 
lose a health. Let me travel. Gosh. Is what's there worth it? Interesting. Okay, so it takes a point of damage. Let's just get the let's get the thing. Great. Um, cool. Abandoned post. Okay, I'm gonna lose the health down to six health. I'm, I'm gonna regret this. I'm sure. I'm down to half health, but now I can travel. Um, now I can travel between, sorry, what was it? Uh, three and six. So, great. Two, three, six. Done. Delved. Um, that river path, that river path, I don't want to do anything with, right? Um, yeah, I did, I did all that shit. Um, great. I'm going to take advantage of that and go to number six. Uh, and six is the hideout. Um, fantastic. I'm going to increase my lore by one. Lore six. I know everything about this damn place. Um, I'm going to delve. I have Athar's banner. So I can... And I get Griff's dagger. Great. Well, I'm Griff's dagger. New, new item. New weapon. New weapon. So many cool weapons. I just love this one so much. Um, so cool. Um, yeah, look, another weapon. Look at all these weapons I have, man. Um, but this is uh, another weapon. Uh, Griff's Dagger. I'm just going to copy paste it right now so I can type it in. Um, Griff's Dagger. Weapon, dagger, uh, same and adjacent. What do we get? Nothing on two. Uh, three to five. Let's take that out. Three to five. Yes, that's cool. Um, move two. Harm one. Quick. Quick means that what? Let me take a note. Um, ooh, Godbane. Interesting. Um, quick. Um, well, that's, that's real cool. What was the little flavor text there? Griff, don't you go there, go in there, Griff. No, it's not time. Um, that's super sweet. I like that a lot. Um, don't let me block. I, I got a lot of cool weapons, and, like, the Drake's talent is just so good for blocking. Um... Man, maybe taking that and the dagger. It's like shield, like standard shield, basic shield. That extra block is like lifesaver, but like moving, moving and hurting is pretty hot too. <sighs> Man, 
those guys. It sounds like what you've already been doing to do plus be harm. That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. So many cool weapons. Um, do I want to swap out the shield for that? I don't know. I feel like I feel like I'm gonna need to not get hit. Um, yeah. Cool. Um, anyway, I delved. Um, next delve requires. Uh, kill count of more than 15, Alora more than 4, I definitely got that. Um, I can now travel between 6 and 10. Great, that's what I want to do, I think. <coughs> I'm going to do the rift. Um, did y'all miss that? I don't know. Um, great. I'm going to go to the rift. Um, do, 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 do. Uh, from 6 to 10, the rift. Great. I want that. Um, healing salve, two uses during exploration. Heal, three harm. Um, I'm just going to pop that right off. And get my 12 to 12 back. Um, great. All healing salve used. Um, a torn gateway to another world. Swirling energy pool between two mountain peaks. Your runes throbbing with each step closer. Uh, a camp long abandoned sits on one side of the rift. They left all of their supplies behind, not needing them for the journey ahead. Um, great. I'm going to learn and get my lore plus one again. I'm up to seven. Badass. Um, and then I'm going to delve, which requires a bronze fist of... Do I have the bronze fist of doo doo Yeah, I got the bronze fist of doo doo um, I can use any of my equipped runes once during this delve. You may change, oh, I may change any of my equipped runes once during this delve. If any runes have been used up, you may replenish them with low. What? Um, they haven't, but, like, what? See, I don't know, this feels, Fate's Fury. So, what are my options? I'm two plus two health, unequivocally good. Um, Draco, ridiculous, uh, can't get rid of that. Once per combat, okay, let's see, hollow. Setting aside an unspent die and using it later. Uh, calling down lightning on difficult terrain. I'll just check here for a second. Um, it's, not, it's not as much difficult terrain as I'd like. Um, Delmark may roll. I may roll an extra stamina die during any round of combat if I do take a harm. That, that's cool. Um, Deathless uh, Draco, I'm using, uh, whenever you kill a unique enemy, you gain all of your health. That's really good, uh, but I think I've used it all <laughs> up. Um, Fate Breaker, you may reroll any ones. Uh, Fate Fury, Fate Spell. I think I might, I think I might swap this out for the Delmark. I think I'm going to swap it out for the fell mark. Um, sorry, what are you watching me do? You don't watch me do her. Um, cool, so I've got a fell mark now. That's cool. Um, if any runes have been used up, what does that even mean? How do you use up a rune? Once for combat, once for combat. I guess that. Just that one, I guess. Weird. Um, the axe is super cool, too. So many good weapons. I wish I could just use them all. Um, anyway, this is uh, it's time to get on the road here. Uh, I can go between 10 and what? Oh, 10 is just a road. Uh, let's get back to here. Cool. So I did all my. Boom, boom, boom. So, um, the cool thing here is if I go between 10 and 9, um, if I approach 9 from point 2 or 3, you can't move it. Uh, if I approach the Valley Fort, number 9, 
uh, from points 10 or 11. I do not need to complete the fight. I can complete the search action. Um, I don't know what the chosen spader does, but it feels like something I might want. Um, yeah, I definitely do want that. So here's what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm at 10 right now. And let me uh, pop the book open for you. Uh, I'm at 10 right now. I would like to go to 9, and I'm approaching it from point 10. I'm going to skip this fight, because I've got a kill count of 20 already. Um, I'm going to get the Chosen's Favor, because I feel like I'm going to need that. I'm going to drop that in my notes. Bada bing. Cool. Um, the Torch of a Dying for the Light sure to get someone's attention. So cool. Um, I've done everything else, I think. So I think it's time to do number 11, The Chosen Grounds. Yikes. OK, cool. Um, I'm at full health. I've got a bunch of stuff. Um, let me mark off uh, I've Chosen's Favor, Bronze Bib, and the Banner. Cool. So I've got a Rune Charge, a Time Stone, a Stamina Tonic, and a Tier of Dressel Fowl, and that's that's the thing that gives me more health, right? Um, every enemy within two spaces loses a health. Nice, um, great. So it's chosen grounds time. Oh, I need I need to delve to get to the Rune Lord. Great. Um, so cool, Chosen Grounds, fight. Um, first, you must breach the outer wall, special one. Uh, if I have the Chosen Favor and a kill count of at least 10, which I do, both of those things. Oops, my battery's getting low. Uh, plug in your computer. Um, I can skip this fight as the door is open to me. I will skip this fight. Um, I don't know if my microphone changed or not. Can everyone still hear me? Great. Great, great, great. Um, fantastic. Maybe I sound better because my microphone is better. Who knows? Anyway, um, I'm going to skip this fight. Uh, I don't need to kill archers and slayers in a tank. It seems pointless anyway, so I'll just murder them all. Um, but I'm going to do that delve then requires lore plus floor and kill. Lore plus four. What time is it? <laughs> lore plus four and kill count of ten plus. I have got so many so many of uh so many of kills and so many of lore uh i've got a lore of seven and a kill count of 20 i'm i'm good on that front um fortress breached army in pieces the rune lord welcomes me inside let's fight the rune lord of iron vale here we are um something is off center that's so unprofessional of me um, the, uh, an arena in the center of the mountain fort is prepared for your arrival. A soldier in obsidian armor. That's going to shatter real easy. Uh, steps through the opposite gate. Runic power radiates from them. Hmm. You have found the rune lord of Ironvale, and they seem to have been expecting you. Great. One-on-one <coughs> um, -on -one combat. Uh, there's... Ooh, okay, cool. Let me uh, set this combat up. So... Um, where's my keeper? Sorry, I'm like flipping this around. Um, boom, cool. I need to get that there. Sorry, it's magic windows. Cool. So, um, hunger totem A1, B3. Oops, sorry. Let's just get A2, B3. Let's try this again. Um, the only terrain are the hunger totems. I'm just going to mark them as difficult terrain, even though they're not actually difficult. A2, B3, right? Uh, C1, and D4. Cool. Uh, those are hunger totems. Let's get a bib here. Uh, the chosen. Um, Cool, and then uh, the Chosen is going to be at B1. Results Chosen for D. 
Uh, Beautiful Children has 10. And 10 health. Big baby. Um, um, Beautiful Children reduces all harm by the number of... So he gets a block four. Straight up. Um, hunger Totems have one health and can be destroyed by me. Um, after destroying the last Hunger Totem, we add a bunch of messed up terrain. <coughs> um, ooh, dog. Okay. And wow, he does a whole lot of he does a whole lot of different things. Um, let me get the uh, Drupal's Chosen stats up here. Um, this might be a fight. This might be a fight. Great, great, good time. Cool, you know, let's just get into it. Let's just get into it. What do I have here? Um, make sure we all can see what's going on. Great, fantastic. Um, I am going to move these around so I can actually use them. Great, cool. Um, let's roll for Drizzle Chosen, a one. Uh, what do you do? Range adjacent, not a problem. Move to harm to, great. Um, special, the range of actions depends on their roll. Uh, takes one, minus one harm, great. Twelve were chosen to take a shattered world and rebuild it. Each a twisted champion of Oberon. They killed all but one. Yeah, well, they killed last one. Okay, move to harm to. Um, I guess he's going to move closer to me, right? Boom. Uh, get that harm too up in it. What am I doing? Oh, you know what I'm doing. Um, I am popping my stamina tonic, tonic and the stamina tonic. Uh, let me just double check that. Stamina tonic. During combat, you just roll plus one stamina die for the entire fight. Plus one stamina die. So I'm gonna pop, I'm stamina three right now. I'm gonna pop that tonic blammo. Um, great, I'm rolling three dice now. What are you gonna do? Let me roll the three dice. I'm probably gonna need him. Um, that's a five, four, and a six. I can't use the same weapon twice because I got rid of my thing. Um, but a five and a six is gonna get me um, move two, block three, harm three. Um, Bugs only doing harm to you, so <sighs> grab on range two, move on harm one. Move three, three. Um, so here's the thing. Oh, he's got he's got block four right now, though. Son of a bitch. Okay. 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 Um. My Draco rune can take all those out. Right? Are they, do they count as enemies? I don't think they count as enemies. I'm going to have to do them manually. So, um, this was a really good roll, me. Uh, I hate to waste it, but Harm 3 is not going to do any damage to him. I can block his damage, uh, and I can take out that. So I have to do that. I have to do that. Um, yeah, that's me. So now he's at a block three. That's fine. Um, well, actually, that's not going to be that far. Let's roll for Drizzy here. A six. Great, of course. Um, range, same. Harm, two. Range, two. Harm, two. Um, this is great for me <laughs> because I am adjacent. Um, so he can't harm me right now. That's great by me. Um, what I would like to do is get over to where I can whack another one of those weedle bobs. Um, so I'm going to roll three dice and see what happens because that's the way I'm uh, rolling right now. Um, and if I need to, I can... Oh. What's my... Oh, let me look at my gear again. Um, I'm not hurt, so that's fine. I've got a, I've got a rune charge, so I can just like pop off when it happens. Um, great. Oh, I could roll an 
Um, yeah, yeah, neat. Okay, cool. I'm just going to roll my three dice. There's a lot of opportunities here to do cool stuff. Uh, five, a five, and a three. So um, that will get me uh, same thing. Move move to block three. Um, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to move to... I'm going to block his two. Or no, he's not doing any damage to me. Um, I'm going to do damage to this and destroy it. Great. So he's at a block two right now. Um, yeah, and that's that. I'm just turning, turning his lights off. Uh, cool. Back to him. Is this going to be easier than I thought? He gets a five. Uh, deal two harm to all spaces in the same row and column. So I need to move. I uh, don't feel like that's going to be a problem with three dice. There we go. Same, uh, same big numbers. Um, so I'm gonna move. So here's the thing. I want to get over. You know, I'm just gonna get all the way the fuck away from there, um, and that's it. Okay, I'm not keeping track of his rolls right now because it doesn't make sense to me. Uh, but a one. So he's going to uh, move to harm two. So he wants to move there for sure. Move to harm two. Um, again, I don't feel like. Yeah, five. I'm just. I don't even need those extra dice. Um, so his range is adjacent. So if I move up to him, that and I'm doing harm three. So I'm taking out his. I mean, I could do. I could do a damage to him, right? I don't feel like this is a bad fight. But yeah, let's let's take it out so I can finish him off as Kira's eye. So great, no damage from me, um, and he's at one one hurting now. Back to him. A uh, three, great. Uh, range two, move one, harm three. I mean, so he has to move away from me. Uh, range is two. And yeah, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna get in his range. <laughs> Um, two, three, four. Okay, cool. Um, two and three can be a five. Um, and then, so I'm going to block two, move two, harm three. Move. Sorry. Move one, block two, harm three. So I'm gonna move, yeah, I'm just gonna move up to him. Um, his range is two right now, right? Because I did a um, three roll to three. Um, so his range is two, he can't hit me. I'm gonna do harm three to him. I think he's only got one, one thing there, so he's gonna go down to eight. Boy. Um. Yeah, I mean, this is, I don't feel like this is going to be a hard fight now. I feel bad for the, for the, for the buddy. Uh, you went out, you went down. Cool. He rolls a two. Um, he's going to move to harm two. He's going to move to range adjacent. Seems unfair for me to be able to do that after them, but. Um, cool. He'll do harm two to me if I don't move. One, two, and two. All right, cool. Um, that's going to get me a five. Um, move one, block one, harm three. I get scared. Uh, move one, block one, and then take a damage. Ouch. Uh, and harm three, which does harm two to him, which takes him down to six. And honestly, I could just Draco him up. Draco, recharge, Draco, bam. I mean, right? Minus one harm for each hunger totem. I'll, I'm going to go take out the last totem. I'm not going to use a Draco yet. 
Um, but it is natural for him. Uh, a three. Uh, range two, move one, harm three. He's going to have to move away from me. Um, I'm going to roll two more dice. Two, three, one again. That's a six. Uh, I'm going to move one, block one, harm three. Move one, block one, harm three. Um, his range is two, so he's going to take a number four. Sorry, buddy. He gets a four again. Same thing. Um, move, he's going to try and move away from me. I think it's going to make mo the most sense for him to move that direction. Uh, if he's smart. And then I get two, three, four. So uh, two and a three is five. So I'm going to put a four there. Move one, block two, harm three. Um, move one, block two, harm three. I mean, I could just sit there, and I'm not going to move. I'm going to harm three. I'm going to take him down to two, because he's got the one there. And like, buddy, you're 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 hurting. Um, I'm going to use my Draco rune for three points to take him down to zero. And that is the Rune Lord taken down. Bam. Bada bang. Um, and I only have to kill all his things. Um, you get all that weird difficult terrain. Or permanent terrain. Because if I if I took him out, uh, I get permanent terrain on A2 and 3, B1, C1, B4, C4, D2, 3. That seems, that seems like a mess. Um, it would have, yeah, it would have been a bad time. So, yeah, um, that guy's dead now uh, and now I get my hunger rune um, what does the hunger rune do let's find out minus three to my maximum health yikes uh, let me just like put this in a new room here mm -hmm. oh, so many runes um, paste this here for now uh, boom 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 new rune uh, hunger Three to your health and increase D roll plus one. Ooh, that's um, they starved him, turned him into a dog. That dog would hunt, would bite, would kill. Um, that is tempting. That is tempting. Put that together with. Yeah, I never use the fall mark. Um, that is really tempting. Well, um, I didn't use these, need to use my time stone or my rune charge. Um, cool. So that is that. I'm going to reset for next time just so I don't forget. Um, and that is the Iron Veil. Pew, pew, pew. Um, up and delved. Um, did pretty much everything. Um, skipped two fights. Still got a kill count of 20. That's great for me. I love that for me. Um, so yeah, cool. That is um, that is the Iron Veil. Um, what's what's next up on the old hit parade? The last one. Uh, last one is going to be... Oh, I'm so glad I did these ahead of time. Zed. Ooh, we get the zombie one. Um, cool. Um, next time is going to be Zed. Next time is going to be a tenth session of Rune. Um, and yeah, uh, I don't have a camera up, so I can't wave goodbye to you. Um, yeah, sometime in the next two weeks, I'll be doing Zed. Uh, this is going to be a good time. That's the last one. Uh, I don't know what these Beyond ones are. Ooh. Search, search, learn, and beyond. Um, great. So that's um, that's rune, baby. Uh, I got my here's my cool things I got. Um, I got all the things. I haven't I haven't got to use the staff or the that hunger is really tempting. Um, I will look at Zed next time. Um, but yeah, uh, one more rune to go, and then we are then we are out. Uh, so cool. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, sorry about the technical difficulties here. And uh, I'll 
see y'all next time for our last session of Rune.